Mark, tell me. So, had a fair last year, scaled down. You revved it right back up. It feels like you didn't miss a lick. That, that couldn't have been an easy transition. <laughs> well, you know, we think we hit a lick. You know, yeah. it's uh, two years uh, between a full fair. You, you think you're going to miss some things here and there. Yeah. We probably did. Hopefully the fair, fair goers don't notice that. Uh, you know, we're excited about being back. Uh, you know, we did do the youth livestock, as you mentioned, last year, which was a great event. Uh, gosh, I think our entries were up uh, in our youth livestock uh, categories about 12%. Uh, came back this year and, uh, you know, opened it back up uh, as a full-scale fair we, with our open shows and everything else. Uh, numbers have been outstanding. Um, you know, we uh, had some work done on the fairgrounds where we expanded some yeah, campgrounds. Tell me some stuff that's new here at the Yeah, fair. well, and I didn't mean to get ahead of you there no. a little bit, but they really got to, to use that last year, Scott. You know, they, uh, the folks that came in, and then this year with all the open shows back on, on site, um, we ran out of campsites yeah. again. And so it tells you kind of where we're headed. I think that the numbers just keep growing, and uh, it's hard to keep up with. Mike Deering, I noticed the line at the Cattleman's uh, restaurant was still out it's all the way out and all the way down the sidewalk and then back around by the tree you bet about like it was every year right yeah no we're excited again mark's done a fabulous job getting us back uh, and we're excited to have customers who want beef and, and we're we're willing to to do what it takes to get that on the plate as a card i remember being a kid and now it's more of a slick magazine but like you said it used to be you didn't throw it away because you started fire with it the big the big the big rule missouri magazine You've always told folks what happens at the fair. It's, it's kind of, uh, it kind of just goes together. The rules are a magazine and the fair. Well, and absolutely, in our very first edition in 1948, uh, if you look at the August issue stamped on the front, state fair edition. So we've always been part of the fair and uh, I just love it. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, it's a great time in Missouri. Garrett, is there a more, is there, is there a place to see more of your members come through <laughs> anywhere in the state than the state fair? Probably not. I mean, honestly, Scott, my first state fair experience was Farm Bureau Day with my grandparents oh, awesome. when I was a little kid. <laughs> I remember Grandma packing a picnic oh. lunch, and we set out by the old historic gate under a tree. And I don't know why I was the grandchild that was the favorite that day, <laughs> but I felt so important. And that was where my love for the fair began and why I'm so pleased that we still have Farm Bureau and Farm Family Day that we just celebrated on this past Monday. 